This next book I'm reviewing is Drawing Masterclass Animals by Lucy Swinburne and it's a search press book. It's a fairly recent one. It's only been out a couple of years. 2013 or 14 I think it came out. And if you're looking for wildlife and drawing this is a really really good book to start with. Not that many drawing books out there tackle the subject of of wildlife and basically drawing fur and feathers because you know it's a, it's a really difficult subject I think it's one of the hardest personally to do so we're covering materials graphite pencils of course because that's what this is all about but also pastel carbon and charcoal pencils as well they all give different effects pens are the materials that you may need and drawing surfaces. Drawing surfaces probably make as much of a difference to your drawing and what can be achieved as the pencils themselves. So it's really important to know which materials you want. Gathering your reference and preparing your workstation. Setting up a simple workstation so everything is nice and clean and uncluttered. Transferring the image to paper. You know on my um, YouTube channel I, I do a lot of uh, reference photos every Friday I give free reference photos out for you to use in projects just like this and I also include the line art so it's easy to get to this stage so she can then take over and show you how to you know get the details in there with pencil so working with reference photos and then we start with really a, a difficult animal a wolf unusual one to start with I thought she would have started with something easier for the beginner Perhaps this is aimed more at the novice graphite artist or pencil artist. So the secret with a lot of graphite is starting light and working dark. Once you've gone dark it's very difficult to get back to light and you can't... With graphite you've only got dark to work with so you can't be putting light over dark. So developing the fur features. You see these marks on there. These. Um, little pictures. Now they are links to very very short videos and they are short videos but they give you an example of exactly how she's using the pencil which is which is a neat new idea. So kind of a halfway stop to to a, a proper video. So increasing the tone getting that darkness right up. A meerkat demonstration as well. Same principle always the same principle going darker and darker and darker a very difficult subject elephant she's doing this on a smooth white card now you know the the actual pencil she's using a basic a 2h a b a 3b and a 6b so you don't need lots and lots of different supplies a tiger a subject lots would love to tackle and have a go of that they find very difficult she breaks it down into steps she's also showing you how to indent so that you can do those white whiskers and their end result is really superb a cheetah so a completely different type of subject we're looking at spots now concentrating on the eyes once again there's a couple of these little videos and then lots of people like to do pet portraits so we've got a whole section on domestic animals dogs various types of furs and then we've got a, a demonstration on a black dog. So quite a tricky subject. You really need to look at the reference, look at the bright, you know, the lights and the darks to get that right. And then we go on to cats. A popular subject. And then once again, a graphite pencil drawing of a cat in detail, going from light, darker, darker, darker still how to tackle those whiskers again horses and a full horse demonstration so you can see how useful this book is to the person that would like to draw animals and the realism at the end is breaking it down though it's showing you what you've got to do now as I've said on previous videos when you're doing graphite work you know it can be quite slow it's, it's the type of work you know if you don't want to be you don't want to be rushing in this type of art at all take your time there's a rabbit it's not as quick as doing oils and acrylics really 
but it's very relaxing when you know the techniques you've got to use a bearded dragon perhaps a challenge that would be then getting all those scales right in the correct direction so a really good book a really good book for beginners and novices for sure I learned a few things from this book and I've done you know I haven't done many drawings graphite drawings over the years but you know I did learn a couple of new tips on there that was really handy and these little videos are also handy as well they're very very useful so a great book it's easy to get hold of it's on Amazon and loads and loads of different websites and it's something I would really recommend adding to your art library and now I've given you a good look through I hope you can make a better decision for yourself whether you should purchase it or not and I'll see you again real soon for another art book review hope you've enjoyed that video and if so I got lots more on my YouTube channel and don't forget the only way not to miss out on any new videos is to click the subscribe button on my website I've got full length feature videos I've got reference photo CDs and ebooks and also the new easy trace line art tool so hope to see you either on my youtube or my website jasonmorgan.co.uk see you all again real soon